the beginning of the work week, and welcome to Inside the Show. Starting out west in the American League, the Astros combined for 10 hits as a team as they were winners over the visiting Rangers 5-3. to three. With the victory, it brought their win streak to 13. As of right now, the Astros sit in first place in the American League West Division, and the Rangers are at the bottom of the division. Felix Hernandez collected win number three this year, leading the Mariners over the Red Sox 5-2. He is among the leaders in complete games pitched in the AL. As of today, the Red Sox sit in second place in the American League East Division, and the Mariners are in third place in the AL West. The A's hit three long balls as they bested the visiting Indians 5-1. Heading into the day, the A's are in fourth place in the AL West, and the Indians sit in fourth place in the American League Central Division. The Orioles amassed 14 hits in the game as they defeated the visiting Angels 5-3. Entering the day's action, the Orioles sit in last place in the American League East Division. And the Angels are in second place in the AL West. Austin Meadows had an outstanding day, driving in five on three hits, helping lead the Rays to a win over the Yankees 7-6. He is among the American League leaders in home runs. As of right now, the Rays sit in fourth place in the American League East Division. And the Yankees are atop the division. The Toronto Blue Jays tossed a combined one-hitter as they took down the Chai Sox in front of a home crowd, one to nothing. In the standings, the Blue Jays are in second place in the AL East, while the White Sox are sitting atop the AL Central. Brian Flynn got his third win this season as the Royals pushed past the Phillies, 7-4. to four. As of today, the Royals sit in third place in the American League Central while the Phillies sit in third place in the National League East Division. The Tigers totaled 11 hits as they stole a victory in extra innings over the Twins, 6-5. At the start of the day, the Twins are atop the AL Central, while the Tigers are at the bottom of the division. The Mets earned the three-game series sweep as they beat the visiting Marlins, 9-5. Heading into the day, the Mets sit in second place in the National League East Division, and the Marlins are fourth in the division. Javier Baez plated five on the day with two big flies, helping lead the Cubs over the Brewers six to nothing. He is currently among the NL leaders in runs batted in. As of right now, the Cubs sit in second place in the National League Central, and the Brewers are at the bottom of the division. The Pittsburgh Pirates sent three balls into the seats as they beat the Cardinals on the road seven to three. As of today, the Cardinals are in fourth place in the NL Central, while the Pirates are atop the division. The Atlanta Braves racked up 11 hits as a team as they got a road win against Arizona 7-4. Entering the day's action, the Diamondbacks sit in second place in the National League West Division, while the Braves sit in fourth place in the National League East Division. Manuel Margot added three RBIs to his total as the Friars took care of the Rockies 5-4. At the start of the day, the Rockies sit in last place in the National League West Division, while the Padres are fourth in the division. Juan Soto was clutch at the plate with three RBIs, leading the Nationals past the Dodgers 5-2. He has now hit safely in seven straight games. As of right now, the Dodgers are in first place in the NL West, while the Nationals are in first place in the NL East. Madison Bumgarner got the victory on the mound, throwing eight strong innings and allowing only one earned run, leading San Francisco over Cincinnati 2-1. He is among the NL leaders in shutouts. As of today, the Giants are in third place in the NL West, and the Reds sit in third place in the National League Central Division. And that's the show. Thanks for listening in. I'll be back tomorrow with more news and updates from around the majors.
There is rain in the area, but we've been given the go-ahead to get this one started. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Houston Astros and the Detroit Tigers. The Strohs try to lock down their 14th consecutive win. Coming up next... Michael Fulmer is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Detroit. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you take a look at that ERA, and it's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four Play good... Standing in, Lou Gehrig. And there's that a look at four. his home and road the splits hitter. so far this year. Number four. Here's the first pitch to him. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. So, guys, these Tigers, as they begin play here tonight, oh, they come in fresh off a victory last time out, but they've had a rough go of it of late as they've lost seven of their last nine games. Yeah, Matty, this is a classic case of hitting is contagious. They scored a bunch of runs last game, and this team is flying high right now. This is a fight at the bat rack. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. And there is our officiating crew in this one, calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit, you understand that he's got his own zone. Uh, you touched on it, d -Roy. I think he rewards the veteran players, not only pitchers, but... And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. So just the one hit in the inning, but it's a home run that pushes him out in front. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Houston leads this one one to nothing. Vita Blue will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, we're taking a look at one of the top pitchers in the game. This guy has over 200 career victories, and he'd like to add another one to this list. This guy's been a really good pitcher for a long time, and right now he's showing no signs of slowing down. It'll be interesting to watch him work in this one here. Now, now in the box, Lou Gehrig. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. Now he goes the other you way, and he Round got it. a lot of it high and deep to left center field, and it's off the wall in front of the bullpen. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. So some life with two away as he's into second with the opposite field double. And his total currently best on the ball club through these first six or so weeks of the young season. Jimmy Fox now that scoring position number with three on. popped him Come on dig dig go hard go Goodman hard go calls hard for it. makes the catch and that'll retire the side danger averted following the two out double back with more Monday night baseball following this So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, now Lou batter. Gehrig. He'll Number try to four. follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribby. First delivery to him on the way. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. 
Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a poodle. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. Stewart is there, and he has it for the first down. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. So striding in, now Lou battle. Gehrig, as Number he'll look four. to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. The 1-0. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And he is going to tie this ball game late as this ball is down for extra bases. And that's going to plate the tying run from second as we've got ourselves a brand new ball game now. You know, D. Rowe, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen. I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sinking cut. That is unbelievable. He's able to get that knock in that big spot. Now batting. Digging Number three. in to try it again, Jimmy Fox. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 3 2 pitch. Rip down the line. Come on, and go hard. You're scoring. You're scoring. But he you're comes scoring. up empty as that gets by him. And the run is in to score from second. Yeah, yeah, great job right there. Dan, you'll take RBIs hard. any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching when runs are at a premium. Trying to pick the things batter. up where he left Number off. Four. Lou Gehrig, two doubles for him to this point in the game. First pitch of the at bat. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Going back is the right fielder at the track. And that baby's gone. So it's a two run shot to right center. Number 17 for him on the season, as this is now a five run cushion. Well, we've now seen four homers combined between these two clubs today. What are your thoughts, guys? Matty V, this is kind of a mini home run derby deal. A ball flying out of the ballpark today. Just Wow, another game and another night to celebrate another victory. I'm just excited we've been able to be here to witness this amazing streak. There's nothing prettier in the world than good baseball, and that's just what they're giving us. And this ball game ends at a 9-4 final score. Houston came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Number 16 earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. Juan Marichal works two full innings in relief to record the save, his second. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Fans, our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, nine runs, 14 hits. No errors, they left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 44 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.
Tuesday Night Baseball now from Comerica Park in downtown Detroit, Michigan. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Houston Astros and the Detroit Tigers. The Astros have won 14 straight games so far. We'll see if they can extend that to 15 next. Matthew Boyd gets the ball for the Tigers in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you take a look at this guy's number. One of the things that jumps out at you is that ERA. It's into the fours. But that doesn't necessarily indicate what kind of pitcher this guy is. If he brings his A game, he can Come shut any... Out. Three! So here's the cleanup hitter, Ted Williams. He takes his first the cuts in this hitter. one with a man at first Ted and two away. Williams. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Come on, go hard. You're scoring. You're scoring. You're scoring. Out there for extra bases. And the run will score as the Astros are off to the early 1-0 lead. And it looks like they're picking up right where they left off last night, where they posted some big offensive numbers. Well, he keeps the party going with a double here. Got to be a tall order to duplicate last night's performance, but they'll give it a try. Digging in, Rodgers Hornsby. And Houston looking for more here the in just baseman. the opening frame of the Number game. Zero. Williams stands at second with two gone. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Unbelievable. A home run. I don't believe what I just saw. I don't believe what I just saw. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Twelve home runs for him now thus far. And the Astros have taken a three-to-nothing lead. Yeah, you never want to give up anything in the first inning, but to go down 3-0, it's just painful. Can't afford any more early mistakes or the hole's going to be too deep to climb out of. Now the Astros' designated hitter, Leading Ted Williams, Houston. as we begin the, the top of the hitter, fourth. Ted Williams. First pitch coming, here it is. And it's fouled away. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. Find the ball. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So the Astros put a man aboard to get the inning underway. Hey, you know what? You could slowly start to see that batter leak out over the plate. That was three straight pitches on the outer half, and he was able to dive out there and get an opposite field single. Nice job. At the plate, Rodgers Hornsby. Number and zero. remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. Yeah, and going back to that last A.B. when he hit the home run, Matty, that ball was up and out of the zone. This guy's a real good high fastball hitter. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm come thinking on, i got to get that come ball on. somewhere below the knees because this guy definitely likes that ball up and elevated. Chalk up another multi-hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. Into the box now. Stan now Musial. He got Let's on top it. of one and was a ground out victim last Musial. time. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. Now a swing and he pops him up. Infield and I believe, yes, the umpire fair. signaling for the infield fly rule. Opportunity now to look at some of the future plans for this Tigers organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent action.
Coming to the plate now, Johnny Bench. Now batting. He's 0 for 1 the after grounding out in his Johnny only trip to the plate bench. so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is. Oh, just a brutal hop, and it goes right by him. On the bag, on the bag, on the bag. And they'll add another run to their lead wow, as the run scores from hard. second to make it 4-2 to two now. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ted Williams. He reached out a single hitter. last time and later Ted wound up scoring. Williams. On its way is pitch number 75. Hit hard towards center. And again, he's got himself a base hit. Make it three for three. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. Hey, not a bad way to start the nightcap. Three at bats, three base hits, D Row. Yeah, the pressure falls off you after you go one for one. Two for two, all smiles. Three for three, get the party started. Digging in now and batting. looking for more, Rogers Hornsby. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Now the payoff pitch home. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with a man in scoring position. Digging in now, Stan Musial. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. This is hit the Go other hard, way out scored. toward Go left hard. field. Jones is there. And that's the third out. Astros forced to settle for only the one run. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Astros five and the Tigers two. So striding forward now, now Ted Designated Williams. Hitter. He singled Ted. his last time up. William. First offering on its way. Now he turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. And he will get there Ladies to and make the running it's play. Tom and that the will end the inning. Seven, Astros correct. leave one. They lead it five to four. Standing in, Ted the Williams. Batter, number nine. He lined out Designated in his last hitter. trip, so looking Ted. for better fortunes here. William. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. No balls and a strike to count. A bouncer to the left move side. It, move it, move Fair it. handed for one. Back to first, and that was a sparkler. A double play, and the inning is over. So no runs here on two hits, no errors, and one man left on. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order due up. Astros lead this one 6-5. to five. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. 9-6, to six, the final tally in this one. The Houston Astros get the win on the heels of four home runs. Raleigh Fingers gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.
Fans are final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, nine runs on 15 hits, one error, and 13 runners left on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 46 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Nighttime baseball on tap from Comerica Park in Motown. Tonight we wrap up this three-game series between the Houston Astros and the Detroit Tigers. The Strohs attempt to break out the brooms in this three-game series right after this. Spencer Turnbull starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's had a really solid season. And what shows me that more than anything, solid three to one strikeout to walk ratio. And if he continues to do that, let's he'll pitch. Ball. That's ball four. Ow. Digging in the switch hitter, Lou Batting Gehrig. Four. He's back in the, the starting lineup hitter. for this one after Number sitting four. out last night's game. First pitch coming, here it is. Line drive, that's a base hit into the right center field gap. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. Striding into the box, Jimmy Fox. The and as you take baseman. a look at the splits here, Number he's three. actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Two left for the Astros. The Tigers coming up. No score. Lefty Grove gets the ball in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, man, this is one of the game's all-time best pitchers. Over 300 career wins, and he's been doing his thing for a long time. It'll be interesting to see if he can continue that solid work in this one today, Matt. In now, Lou Gehrig. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Number four. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he runs it in on him and gets him to swing through it for strike one. Well, today's game provides the visiting squad with a chance to complete the series sweep, guys. 
One of the toughest things to do at this level is to win on the road with the win today. Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to first on the hit by pitch. Yeah, I can hear the crowd murmuring now, wondering if he hit him on purpose. But hey, us pitchers need to be able to throw inside, especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him. And hey, that's part of the game. Stepping in, now Jimmy back. Fox, over one three. here in the early going. Gehrig aboard here at first with nobody out. There's a line drive out toward the gap in right center. Come on, dig, 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 go hard. Gehrig rounds the corner and is headed home. He'll score easily, and they now lead by two. Well, this is a lesson for all those pitchers out there. When you allow the leadoff man on base, it always comes back to haunt you. With no outs, I thought they might hold the runner at third, but they send him anyway, and the run scores. Runner in scoring position at now second with one away. Number four. And in steps the iron horse, Lou Gehrig. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Stewart waits on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Digging in once again, Lou now Gehrig. Back. And we'll see Number what he four. can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. First offering on its way. Fouled away. Six runs, 11 hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. You're going, you're going, you're going, you're going. First is in time, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and a couple of men left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Astros six, and the Tigers one. Now to the plate, Lou Gehrig. Now he went down on strikes Number last four. time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Line Come on, dig, 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 you're scoring. A dive, but it's off his glove. The runner scores from second. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. Coming to the plate again, Jimmy now Fox batting. as he'll Number bat for three. the second time in the inning. Line towards center field, and that's in there. Base hit. Long you're up, throw you're to up, third. You're up. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Stepping up now, Rogers Hornsby. Now he went deep last time. Double zero. Gehrig on third. Fox at second with two gone. Skied into go, straight go, go, away go, go. right. Under it is the right fielder. And that's the third out. But tack on six more as they just continue to turn it on in this one. 
two, three, and four due up in the home half of the sixth. The Astros lead it 12 to one. Striding in for Houston, Lou Gehrig. Number it's four. been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In the air to center. Reyes giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. One, two, three, go the Astros. But don't shed a tear. They're up 12 to 1. Ready for another chance. Now Lou Gehrig. Number and their runners four. at the corners now. First pitch of the at bat. Right. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny B, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No, no one really chased right. today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. 0-2, oh, here it comes. Stays alive, still 0-2. Oh, Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. Nine men come to the plate, four score. One more shot coming up will go to the bottom of the ninth. The Astros on top, 16-1. to one. Yeah, and sometimes you just need a guy to go out there and battle. It doesn't have to be pretty all the time, but just good enough to get the job done. Well, this guy, he was a heck of a lot better than that, going the entire nine innings, saving his bullpen, and getting the win. 16 to 1 this evening. The Astros wrap up their 20th road win of the season. Lefty Grove earned his fifth win of the year, turning in a very strong, complete game effort. Spencer Turnbull was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Time of the ball game, three hours and 56 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please... Drive home safely.